Hi guys. We, we built a fort. I know, I saw that. You building it some more? Is the camera on? All right, good morning. It is Tuesday, day after Memorial. I don't know what day it is. 28th, 29th, something like that. Um, we smoked uh, We smoked some ribs. We had pork ribs and beef ribs yesterday. So because of that, just without any confusion, possible confusion, we put all the spare ribs, beef and pork in here for the chickens. We didn't want to mess with trying to put, can you turn the, I'm trying to give it to yeah. Them. You turn the fence off. So we're gonna feed all those ribs to the to the hens just to minimize any confusion. We don't want to give pork ribs to the to the chicken. So that's what we've got here. Maybe oh, don't dump it. Oh, I wasn't that. Oh. Don't throw it at them, baby. <laughs> We'll just continue to keep them in this tractor. Hope there is one out. We need the staple gun. So they're all good, they're still really small. We're getting um, our meat birds. So we get a hundred, we have 100 Freedom Rangers coming. Today's Tuesday, the 20, today's Tuesday the 28th. We're getting them next, or this coming Monday, so in six days. Oh, they hatch. Oh, they hatch, they hatch on Monday, so we'll probably get them in about a week. So here's what we did this weekend. I mean, you can't really see. They're all tiny. We've got peppers going. We still need to plant a few. These peppers look good though. They're not droopy. We've got jalapenos going. We've got water running to all of them. These are our favorites. Sun gold tomatoes. We lost one here. We've got some sun golds growing along the line here. What else do you plant over here, Beb? So we've got cucumbers by seed right here. Seeded cucumbers. All our tomatoes are in the middle here. 40 tomatoes. These jalapenos look... These are Anaheim chilies and red... Oh, these are Anaheims. Cool. Natalie just saw a mouse. So, I gotta come back out. It's around the corner. There was just a cat right over here too. So we have another mouse. So I'll come back out and reset these traps. We just have nasty peanut butter. We buy <laughs> some nasty peanut butter at the dollar store and we just put it on there. And what we don't want is spend all this time and then we, these mice come in and eat all the, eat all the little baby plants. So, all right. Do you see it or no? No, I don't see it. I think it goes in this baseboard. Yeah, it's all along.
so again the time to fix anything in the in the pig net is when they're eating they're so loud man i have sensitive ears too though i'm like i'm gonna wear earplugs every time i come over here they're so loud so they're definitely outgrowing this this short fence this is a 100 foot linear fence the a-frame we've continued to repair that thing's destroyed i don't like that it's their paddock is already complete dirt they've definitely rooted up everything which i don't like we're going to get them out to this pasture where there's there's going to be tons of long grass so it'll it'll maintain them a little longer than what they're on right now i mean it's tuesday we moved them friday so no i think i i want to get them on it's too late now but um we need to get that big net we need to transition them so we're gonna we've got a it's it's a it's not a chicken net it's not as tall as the chicken nets i think it's 36 inches and our chicken nets are 42 inches so three feet high and i think we've got 144 linear feet so it gives them much more area we'll we'll change out the a-frame with the bigger shelter um it's made out of cattle panels so it's more it's not as rigid it gives a lot more so it doesn't destroy as easily so we're just we're at a point we're in that transition period where they're definitely outgrown this it, it works it's going to work for the next couple of weeks until we get them transitioned but once we move them through the area to the other side we'll get them in a bigger fence we'll get them in a bigger shelter and then they won't destroy the paddock so quick i mean we have seven we have seven hogs right now in a essentially 10 by 10 100 foot square area it's just not enough so they're fine the the biggest concern <clears throat> is the is the poop factor right you want to move them at least every 10 days so we do it every seven but 10 days is, is where you're going to start running into parasite issues with with their with their poop and everything else so that's the main goal you know the dirt it is what it is I'd love to have them on, on fresh grass the full seven days. It's just right now, it's not ideal situation because of the small fence. The biggest thing is the parasite issue with the poop, and we're, we're doing that. Um, as we're moving them every seven days, we're not allowing any parasites to, to take place. So. Come on, let's go. In you go. Come on. So if I turn the last thing uh, out here. Okay. Yeah, that was I'm training them they're anticipating their second breakfast here we'll go yeah they're all at their net staring at me pigs are hilarious <clears throat> waiting for their treat and I've got about I don't know quart maybe quart of milk they'll fight over it they'll enjoy it We'll give this to the pigs, then we'll call it a day. Appreciate you guys checking us out. Go get these pigs some milk, and then we'll uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, the more I'm seeing this dirt fly all over, the, well, all over the place. I don't like it. So we'll probably end up moving them tomorrow. I don't like all that dust flying around. So, all right. Hey, hope you guys have a wonderful week. Catch you next time.